Hi everybody, so in video 2010 we used this thing, which is a fixed right angle, connected it to some metal bars and used that to make what's called a Hobson's coupler. The Hobson's coupler is a very interesting device for connecting two axles at 90 degrees so they rotate in the same direction. But it is also a springboard for an awful lot of other things. One thing you can do with it is make an engine out of it and an engine's been made called the elbow engine. Of course, you could immediately see how you could turn that into a solenoid engine or equally reverse that and make it a kind of generator. So, of itself, an interesting and versatile joint that's used in things like angled tools for reaching hard to reach places. But it is locked into that 90 degree rotation and there are issues with it. Unless you get it lined up exactly, it will shudder and jump. But if you line it up, then it's going to be absolutely beautiful and it's capable of handling a great deal of torque. That idea of being able to turn it into an engine, of course, is very attractive to me. I mean, you try turning a couple of bevel gears into an engine. Good luck with that. But if we can make that move so that it's variable, of course, we have a CV joint and we can do that. If we take this, split it in half to create this, and then we can add two of those together to make a joint. And that kind of joint is called a Cardan joint. It's named after Cardano, the 16th century mathematician who invented it. It was actually Robert Hooke who put two of those together at 90 degrees to create what we know as the universal joint. But we can use that joint along with the Hobson's coupler to create a device that will be able to turn two axles at any angle even if the axles are moving. Let me show you what I mean. That's pretty awesome, but one of the features of this joint is its torque handling capability and its robustness, moving, changing angle while power is applied. So let's stick a drill on there and see how it does. So an awesome mechanism. I mean, imagine this on the next ATV or Lunar Lander or something like that, which would be great for it. Now, if you don't think fashion plays a role in engineering, you're sadly mistaken. It does, and things fall out of favour when we forget about them. But it's always worth looking at something like this, because this isn't a new mechanism, in light of modern experience, in light of modern materials, because who knows what kind of generator this might make, or what kind of motor it might work if we start adopting new techniques to running these slightly older mechanisms to do interesting jobs. And that's the way invention happens. Invention happens because it stands on what went before. So something like this is exceedingly interesting. And as I say, I can see lots of uses for a mechanism like this. I hope you can too. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please do remember to like and subscribe.